Okay, Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today we will be discussing about theorem 9 and 10 being theorem 9 equal chords in a circle or equal circle are equidistant from the center and th theorem 10 is just the in a uh, converse of theorem 9 meaning it should be um, equidistant chords from uh, in a circle are equal chords so binaliktad lang natin so basically um, our theorem would go like this okay you will be given two chords say we have chord a b and chord c d okay it just simply states that if your chord a b is equal to chord c d say this is six and six then we can safely assume that the measure of the this perpendicular distance of that given chord this chord to the center they is also equal to the other perpendicular distance so it simply means that if this is if you have measured this one this is say eight then therefore, the measure of this one is also 8. Yan, this one and then this one. And the converse would be the other way around. It just simply states that if the perpendicular distance are equal, say this is 8 and also this is 8, then we can assume that this CD is 9 and also 9. And I am not saying na 9 talagang value niya, but it simply means that if one part is equal, then the other part that is made from that figure is also equal. Okay? And maybe let's, uh, for us to better understand this one, let's have an, an example on GeoGebra. I'll just show you. Okay, so this would be our statement for Theorem 9 and 10. And to show us a, bet a better, let's go to GeoGebra, okay? So in this given, um, we have the circle, um, circle A, we have point BC or segment BC, and we have segment DE. Okay, segment BC is a chord and segment DE is another chord. So let me just um no not the trace sorry. I'm gonna do that. Let me just show okay. So we have it should be the same. Yeah. So we have this segment um B C and segment D E and what we need to do is we need to find the perpendicular distance. Remember that this forty one, six point forty one and six point forty one they are the measure of B C and DE. It just simply states that they are congruent. Okay? They are congruent. So, what we need to do now is we need to find the measure the perpendicular yeah, perpendicular measure of this given chord. Okay? So, may, let, let's check first um, if this is 90 degrees. So, let's check the angle. I don't know and do that one. This one and then this one. Oh, no, no, no. Anyways, it should be 90 degrees. Wait, let me undo that. This, this. For a while, for a while. This, this, and this. We're looking for the angle. Okay, here. This, this, and this one. Yeah. It should be 90 degrees. So I'm just going to adjust my figure so that it, it gets 90 degrees it's gonna be a little bit hard to do this okay so if you would notice bigla nagbagong circle natin so i just paused the video for a while and constructed my circle okay so in any case uh we would have oh sorry we would have this uh segment cd so let me just maybe let's let's remove the, the the grid lines, yeah. So, yeah. so you, you will notice this segment CB. Segment CB would be our new um, chord and segment DE from this point, then yeah, from point D up until point E, this would be our chord. And let me just show you the measure of this one, okay? So, um, it's, yeah. And we're going to show the value, okay? So, showing the value of this one, you know that this segment CB and segment DE is 5.66. So, meaning they are congruent kasi they have equal measurement. So, if they are congruent, then it will simply state and it will shim simply show that this H and I should also be congruent. So, let's check the measurement of this one. And, let's just check the value. Yan. It's 2.83 and at the same time, the other one is also 2.83. So, again, this satisfy the condition or our theorem number 9 that if this is 2.83 this is 5.66 and 
meaning segment CB is congruent to segment DE, then we can say that they are um, the uh, perpendicular distance from the center up until one point in our chord, they are also e equal. So this is from G up until the midpoint of DE and to the center of the circle and the midpoint of CB, which is F, to the center of the circle, they are equal. Okay, and just note, they should be perpendicular. So let's check the measurement. Sorry, uh, I took the wrong measurement. So it should be this and this. Now let me undo that. And this and this, it's... Uh, no. It's 90 degrees and at the same time, this is also... Let me create an angle here. Yeah. Check the angle. Oops. It's this to this. Yeah, it's also 90 degrees. So see, it's, perpendi it's a perpendicular distance, 90 degrees. And then again, we will satisfy this using this figure. And this is um, showing it by example. That, of course, our theorem 9 and theorem 10 as well, they are correct. Take note, in theorem 9, in 9 and 10, let's just go back. If you have chords that are equal, then the perpendicular distance are equal. And at the same time, if the perpendicular distance are equal, then the chords are also equal. Okay? So that would be our, and equal and equal. So that would be our theorem 9 and 10. If you would have any other questions, you can just um, chat me in our chat box, in our group, and also you can view the video again. Again, what we are doing is we are just simply showing you the examples itself. Okay, no proof muna. So thank you everyone for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.